Okay, this is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and we're just going to go over some earnings here tonight with the people in the room. Uh, we went over the joy from the morning. Seattle Trader saying, what was the afternoon trade? You tell me. You tell me before I tell you, where would you have done this? If I said this was a viable trade to take in the afternoon, where would you have done it? And by the way, I'm looking at this now in the 15 minute. Do you see this here? I mean, this is like everything I taught you. Look at this from the morning. Anyways, this is the rally on the 15 minute. Rally, rally, rally. Oh, you can't see the chart? Oh, sorry. Here's the rally. One, two, three. See it? Time of the day is still early enough. Usually this hit around 11 o'clock, but this actually hit earlier than 11 o'clock. I forget what the market was doing at the time. You let it rally, hold, and you short it. Well, I've been the only reason to do this today. One, it held 14. Two, 1322 was not really a number. I didn't even give that as a number today. So there was no significance to that number at all, really. Okay. So it still had target left in it. And this very well could have broken 13, but... At 1.15 of the afternoon, whole number, markets is still strong. This is a move in here, a late move too. Bounce off of 13, you take it. But this could have broken 13. This is going to break 13, but it didn't today. So you could have done this as an afternoon short. And I did, but it's so much better to do a short in the morning. It is the, I'm just starting to realize I don't know if it's just time of length of time doing this or all the things I have going on in my life right now. Actually, it's it's both. It's both. I, I'm, I've got to tell you the truth. It's both. I have too much going on in my life right now with everything with the business and the television show. And I've also been trading now for too long where I just don't want to be in trades long. I just don't. I just don't. And, you know, it's interesting because it's, here, I'm going to tell you this. This is something above and beyond everything else. There's something that I learned from the entertainment world now in the year of doing this, or not quite a year. You get one shot. One shot with really powerful people. You get one shot. That's it. And it's just like trading. And it's just like trading. And it just dawned on me today, it's just like trading. Let's go back and look at it. You get one shot. And that's why you have to always be on your game when you know that you need to be. That doesn't mean that you need to be on your game every second that you're breathing. That's impossible. We live in a world where we're constantly having things thrown at us right and left. And, and I don't even have kids. I can't even imagine those of you that have spouses and kids and more going on than me because because I, I have a lot going on with my professional life right now, but I don't have a family or kids. Those of you that have kids, listen to that windows noise again. Those of you that have kids, I don't know, I don't know how you do it. Okay. But that's a whole nother thing. Anyways, you get you get one shot in the market in a tree. And that was it today. This was it. Oh, listen to that. Listen to that beat. You have three boys. Yeah, I can't even imagine. Biker has three boys. Ho stay right there. I'm gonna sign in and out of the room really quickly, and hopefully, I don't, I don't ha miss that beat because we're not, we're not trading live here right now. So I can sign out and in. Just stay here. You're not gonna get booted. <laughs> this is, this is unbelievable. Hold on one second. Okay, can you hear me? That that should take care of it. I pray I don't have to reboot. It's usually the interference with the windows with Hotcom. Hmm. Anyways, the point I was trying to make is that trading in, and striking while the iron is hot is very much like the entertainment world because you get one shot. And if you blow it, you're done. And if you make a good impression, you're in. 
and this is how it is. So with trading, it's very similar. And you know, I just realized that today. So we'll keep that in mind going forward. But the reality is that this had one entry in the morning and then it fell off its rocker. And let me just find exactly, mm, no, I, I was wondering if this swooshed. This actually didn't swoosh. This actually just sold off. This actually did not swoosh today. I was wondering then if it swooshed, it didn't. This isn't a swoosh. It's just a move, but, but, but it was a good move, okay? And you could have played it in the afternoon. And if the market hadn't been as strong as it was, that would have broken $13. And that is lower. And look at the market. I didn't see how we closed today. I, 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 I. <sighs> you could have gone long on my call in the market today if you didn't do joy. You could have gone long in the afternoon. I should have done this. Everything, but I'm only one person. Look at that. We're set to make a new high again in the queues. Just like I predicted. You were wondering what, too, Jaguar Paw? What were you wondering, too? And then we're going to go over the stuff for tonight so we can get ready for tomorrow. You get one shot in trades sometimes, and most of the times it is. You get one shot, and it's the same with the entertainment world. And you better be on point. So you clear out the rest of the world. You focus on nothing but yourself. You're selfish, selfish, selfish in the morning when you trade. You got to put all the things aside and close and lock yourself into a room and turn off the email, the phone, the computer, the television, the radio. Lock the door so no one can talk to you. I used to put a sign on the door. This is hilarious. I used to put a sign on my door, taped it on the door, and said, do not enter trading. Because I had I had my family would come and interrupt me. This is a this is a long time ago. This is a long time ago, but my family would come just they would just walk in and interrupt me. And finally I put a sign in the door. And and it was funny because my sister's kids used to come over and then they 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 loved it. They they would they would tape signs in the door. Then when I would be done trading, then I'd see the signs in the door. And then they'd slip things under the door. It was it was so cute. This is a long time ago, but I used to tape a sign in the door. I said, "Don't disturb." <laughs> All right. Anyways, Asna's gapping up, so that's out. And I don't even like it. This is gapping up, and I don't like that. That's out. This is gapping down. Uh, this is a spread monster, though. Hold on. This actually looks actually good. This is actually good. All right. Well, whew, we have one good one, except for it's so spready. This will trade more volume than this, though, tomorrow. Okay, Bob Evans Farm. Boom. Write it down. That's a good one for tomorrow. Very spready though. This is gapping up. It's a good gap up. I'm not going to do it. This is too thin. This is way too thin, but gapping down a lot. Way too thin. You can't trade this, but it's, it's actually a good gap. So we have Bob Evans Farm so far. No, nothing with this. All right, let's look in the morning. We have one. Yeah, one. You were wondering if Joyce flushed. It didn't. It didn't. It did not. We'll go back to that in a second. I just want to look to see if there's something else here. I really think the days this week is going to be Thursday and Friday. Because I'm looking at the things. What am I going to talk about on, a, on, on live television when there isn't any gaps at night? I'll just have to have you people on, and I'll just have to give a lesson on a swing trade. <laughs> what am I going to talk about? 
Um, I think the best thing is going to be, the best days are going to be Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday from the rest of the week. But I have one thing to say, and that's we absolutely deserve an amazing day. Two days this week. But this is good. I'm not going to rate this tonight because I'm tired and I already started drinking wine and I don't want to see something that isn't there. But I will tell you I like it. It is gapping down. I've traded this before. It is whippy. It is spready. That's the only problem with this. It will have more volume the day of the gap, which is good. Here, let's actually show the gap. There it is. You can see it. Low on point was $37. Let's look at the target. Oh, wait a minute here. I just saw something here. Hold on. This, this is, I actually like this more than I thought. Wow, this, this is actually a really good gap. Well, maybe we will do this. The problem is that it's not going to have a small stop. But let's just see where the target is on this because it, it's 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 not going to have a small stop because of the spread. This, this is a, this is this is actually really actually going to work tomorrow. Now that I just looked at this. <clears throat> But I, 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 don't, I don't know where it opens. So. so let me see. Can I move it like that? Well, yeah, this, would, this would be a big move for this stock. If it, uh, this is really the target, though. This is crazy. It's 35, 34, 16. This is... Actually, no, that's that's not too big for this. Dream target in BOBE is $33 tomorrow's day trade. Realistic target is $35, $34.60. The stop's going to be big. Let's just look at this chart. And it's going to be big because of the spread. Probably going to be thirty-five to fifty cents, which 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 isn't crazy, but you can't see my charts. Can everybody see my charts? Biker dude said he couldn't see my charts. Can you or can't you? This is a good gap for for tomorrow, and it's actually now that I looked at it more seriously, it's better than I thought. So we have one good thing to, to do tomorrow. Thank goodness. Thank you. Thank you, market. <laughs> but it's unfortunate. It's going to be spready and whippy because that's how this stock trades. And it may not have the volume right away into the open, in which case we're going to wait a little bit. But I actually saw something here. This is actually a good gap. So I saw something. I didn't rate it yet. It, it, this will rate well. But I'm telling you right now, actually, that this chart after today is broken. So it's interesting. Any Here, I'm going to tell you something else right now. Anything, you can write this down. I'm going to write this down. Any stock in the U.S. market that changes trend from an uptrend to a downtrend during the period that we're in right now, it's in the process of the market continuing higher and ready to make a new high. Listen, this is very important. Anything that changes directional trend, which this is actually now in a downtrend, if this holds this gap as of tomorrow, I don't know if it will. We'll look at it in the morning, but if it holds the gap, this is going from an uptrend to a downtrend as of this gap. Anything that changes trend in the period where the market is making a new high is very, very weak. Now, you have to have taken the trends class to know when it's changing trend, but that's another reason to do that, that extra course. But I'm just telling you, I'm telling you right now, anything that I say, even if you didn't do that class, anything I say that is doing a corrective gap that is now going from an uptrend to a downtrend, which this is right now, and I just saw that, is actually really weak and shortable, basically, in the longer term because, because anything that would have the guts to do this against this market 
for any reason of the gap, whether it's earnings or a downgrade or I don't even care, is really lower. What was the other one? Cucum. That was the other one. Even this rally today, but look, it hardly rallied at all. The length of the bar on the day of the CubeCon was 60 cents. Look at that. CubeCon rallied today with the market rallying too, but the bar of the low from the low to the high is 60 cents. I know it's green, but do you see how weak this is? So this is another one of the ones. QCOM. Bob Evans, if it holds the gap, I don't know till the morning, but I'm just saying anything that goes from an uptrend to a downtrend during the period of the time when this market is actually making a new high is, is a problem for the stock and, and is shortable. start a fund or something. I mean, some of these things, what was the other one? Alta. What's the other one? I just, there is some things that I absolutely know. And then there's others that you, you just don't know, but there's some things that I absolutely know. And, and the market's one of them. What was the day this was supposed to come out? Hold on. Thursday night. Thursday night, and I told my broker about this because I think she, I think she did an option in it. And look how much has this come in. Alta is going to make a new high this week in the earnings. I just don't see that not happening at all. So another one of the ones here. But again, I like to short. You just have to watch. I think Thursday and Friday are going to be the best days, but. Looking at this further, we do have a good gap tomorrow. Target is $35. The stop will not be small. Ooh, did you see that invisible tick? Wow. Look, if you don't happen to look at it and see it, it's gone. It went up to 40. Wheezy saw it today in the joy. See, look, does everyone see that? What do you see there? See, I have a squiggly line now with a vertical thing. And this is what froze my platform this morning. Look at that. See, I can't do anything now. What do you see? Do you see an arrow? I'm going to call Kathy right now. What do you see of the clicker? I have a squiggly line that's vertical. I, I can't move anything now. This is what happened this morning. It freezes it. Hold on. I'm going to quickly call Kathy. That is not, see, I don't even have sterling up. That's how come. You see an arrow? I have a squiggly line. I'm moving it around, but I can't do any, like I can't press on this or go anything or move. It's a stuck. You don't see a squiggly line. It's like a, it's like a slinky. Does anyone have any questions while I'm texting Karen? Well, that's that's not my memory then, see it's hot come. But okay, there's a there's a storm alert from New York on my phone. Anyways, does anyone have any questions? I don't know if Karen will come back in the room or not. If you guys can't see the squiggly line, though, she's not going to see it either. But that's actually Windows not being workable with Hotcom because I don't have Sterling up. That's not data overload because I don't have anything else up right now. I don't, I don't know what it was. It just, it just quick turned it off. That was funny. <laughs> well... I'll tell you one amazing thing that is good about today. Win 10. I don't know what that is. Let's think of one amazing thing about today. Does anyone want to guess? 
No, I just ordered a new computer, Wheezy. That's what I'm saying. I don't have Windows 10. No, I don't. But I will any day. What's one amazing thing about today? Does anyone want to guess? Galahad's going to give his two cents. No, you have to guess. Samuel, what's one amazing thing about today that gives you 100% conviction? Another one on the list? No, about today, the live trading day, this morning. What's one positive thing, amazing, from today that you can take away with and then I'll everyone go for tonight? Just one thing. In fact, no one's getting out of here without telling me one thing. I want everyone, write it in the room. Everyone to write one thing that's amazing about today before you go to sleep tonight or whenever you do. Don't miss the train, but that's not an amazing thing about today. What's the one amazing thing about today? Oh, my Lanta. Am I talking to myself? Is no one listening to me? Tell me one positive, amazing thing about today. Everyone, write it in the room. I can't, I'm not letting you out tonight unless you write one thing. Biker dude's writing something. Frequent flyer, great gaps be. A good gap's coming up. Yes, I'll take it. That's fine. Give me something else. No, I want positive. You'll get the trade tomorrow with me, but I want something about today that you can go to sleep tonight and feel good about yourself. Wheezy's kind of getting it. Expand on that, Wheezy. Seattle Trader said Joy was a good short, even though the market was strong. Excellent point. I didn't even think about that, but that is a good reason of today. Give me another positive takeaway from today. Well, you're talking about Bob Evans. We didn't train this yet, Jaguar Paw. This is a corrective gap, but we didn't do it yet. And I don't, I don't know where this opens tomorrow because it's just so thin. It's got to hold this gap. But something from today. Something from today, Tuesday, December 1st. Weezy has to expand on what she said more. No, all of you are talking about the future. No one's talking about today. Samuel's writing something, but it's stuck. You learn a lot from today's trade without risking anything. Makes tomorrow brighter. All right, well, Samuel gets a round of applause for being the most positive person. <laughs> A++ for being the most positive person in the room tonight. All of you are kind of like tiptoeing around the tulips. First day of the month market was strong. I give me, Come on, what am I really trying to say here? Come on, think, think, think. I'm drinking a glass of wine and even I know what I'm thinking. You people need more vitamins. That's going to be your Christmas present. The market is not only strong, okay? Not only is the market strong today, and Joy was a good gap, but it's really not earnings season anymore. It's not earnings season. It's December 1st, holiday month, not earnings season in a strong market, and Joy was a good gap today that went to a massive target and opened and fell a dollar into the open on a one minute low. That's the takeaway positive thing from today, that it doesn't even matter if it's earnings season or not, and it doesn't even matter if the market's bullish or not, it doesn't even matter, because guess what? Even still, with a bullish market, with a holiday month, with non-earnings season, because joy wasn't an earnings gap, we are still going to get good moods in, in stocks that are going to break and be weak and sell off, even in the middle of freaking winter, even in a bullish market, because when you get a good gap, and when things want to sell off, everybody isn't going to hesitate to do so. And that's why we have to capture the moves and take them immediately or whenever they set up in the first 30 minutes because we don't want to miss the sell-off of the stocks that come in right away. And that, how are you going to get that? From picking the right thing and knowing what to do based on the rating system. But I'm telling you right now, I knew to watch this today over the NQ. I knew to do it and it was good. The positive takeaway from today is that 
even though the market's going to make a new high, even though the market's going to continue the uptrend, even though the entire month of December might be bullish, which I think it's going to be, and even though it's not earnings season, and even though it's a holiday month, we're still going to get huge moves in stocks that are quality gaps, that gap down, that rate per the system, that sell off hard. Because why would you want to own something that's a piece of crap in a bullish market? You wouldn't want to. And this is a piece of crap. Now, how did I know the rating system? But it's obvious that it's a piece of crap. Because look at what this did today and look what the market did today. And this wasn't even an earnings gap. So the positive takeaway from today is that you have a lot to look forward to this month. Will we get a gap like this every day? No. Will we get gaps like this in earnings and non earnings season in the holiday month? The answer is yes. And so that's something to look forward to for this month. So you got to be on your game and me too to get the good ones when they come in. My system works even at the worst of times. True. Made an invisible tick in the reverse direction but worked. Yes. I toyed with that with the pre-market wheezy. But on the live day, it really has to stick in the direction. Um, meaning if you see a reverse tick, in the, if you see a reverse tick, a tick in the reverse of the gap, in the live day is actually a good sign, but not in the pre-market, but it didn't matter today for that. And it is the first day of the month. Karen just popped in. Karen, I, I know Karen, what do you see? Right now I have a squiggly vertical line that looks like a slinky, which is you see an arrow, but I have a problem. This is where my screen froze today. I don't know why this did this. And if you can't see it, I'm not sure how you're gonna help me fix it unless you come in and somehow take over my computer. Let me just stop the tape. Have a great night, everyone. If you're interested in more information, email me at Melissa Armo at the, at, no, it's Melissa at the stockswoosh.com. This is Melissa with Stock Swoosh. And see, I can't, I can't move anything. This is where I was at this morning. I can't, I can't move it. I can't even shut off the tape or do anything. I have no arrow.